This week on Air and Outdoors. Hello everyone, welcome once again to Aaron Outdoors. We have another exciting show in store for you today as we dust off the old archery tackle and head to the woods. First up, Brett and Blake, they've been patterning a deer uh, here for opening morning. They feel really good about the setup and really are hoping things work out for them. Let's check in and see what happens. Roll. It's foggy this morning. Shooter hadn't showed up yet, so we're gonna pack it up here and decide what we wanna do for the evening. We may be back in here, we may be hunting our bean field. So we'll see. Either way, we'll see you in the tree after a while. Not long after we got back from the morning hunt, we're sitting at the house and we get a notification on our stealth camera. The buck is there in the middle of the day. And usually when he's there once in the day, he's there again that evening. So we're hopefully going to go back in here this evening and Brett can put an arrow in this buck. This segment has been brought to you by Double X Tackle, makers of the original clear board, the lightest, best pulling planter boards available. Hello, this is Ralph Stokely from Stokely's Marine. I'd like to invite you down to take a look at the all new tracker boats. From the Pro Team 175 to the Pro Team 190 and the all new Pro Team 195, rated for a 150 horsepower. Great fishability, with features like recessed foot pedal, eight and a half foot rod boxes, the Revolution Hull, to an aerated live well system that's unmatched. So come to Stokely's Marine, where your authorized tracker boats dealer. We're four miles south of Fayette Mall on Nicholasville Road. Let's go to the lake.
They say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't reinvent the wheel. But we didn't listen. Instead, we built a brand that delivers category-leading gear for the best value, from the latest in ground-blind mesh technology to AI animal recognition and colorizing night photos. Like you, our passion is for hunting, and a piece of that passion can be found in every product we make, home of the highest quality products for serious hunters. Hunters, bring that elusive buck into your sights this deer season with Freak Factor, Lucky Buck Minerals' new long-range attractant. When mixed with corn, Freak Factor will make your feed corn last longer. Freak Factor is the weapon of choice to bring down that monster buck you've been chasing for months or even years. Freak Factor's spicy aroma will fill the air and create a scented roadmap for any buck around. Ask for Freak Factor anywhere Lucky Buck is sold. We had a pretty good idea that this buck would be back in the evening, so we went back in, and sure enough, we're sitting there, and I see a velvet rack heading right towards me through the thicket.
He may have crashed. He may have crashed. He may, have crashed. He may be in the creek. Guys, as you can see from my point of view on the camera, that deer was right behind that oak tree right in front of me, but he'd already looked up here. His breath was drawn. We've said a hundred times, this is so thick, there's two spots to shoot. And the deer come up pretty much straight in front of us. What time is it? It's 5.25. Hey guys, it's Blake with Aaron Outdoors. Be sure to head on over to our YouTube page and click that subscribe button with notifications on so you can keep up with all the latest content. Hello, this is Ralph Stokely from Stokely's Marine. I'd like to invite you down to take a look at the all new tracker boats. From the Pro Team 175 to the Pro Team 190 and the all new Pro Team 195 rated for a 150 horsepower. Great fishability with features like recessed foot pedal, eight and a half foot rod boxes, the Revolution Hull, to an aerated live well system that's unmatched. So come to Stokely's Marine, where your authorized tracker boats dealer. We're four miles south of Fayette Mall and Nicholasville Road. Let's go to the lake. The Multis Perfect Deer Drag, the fastest and easiest way to handle a deer. With a compact and durable designed orange reflective strap for safety, the Deer Drag is a back and hand saver that has a 400 pound working load capacity, a product to move by hand or hands free dragging. This is Blake Aaron from Aaron Outdoors, and I highly recommend Malta's products because there's no bragging unless you're dragging. Visit DeerDrag.com today. They say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't reinvent the wheel. But we didn't listen. Instead, we built a brand that delivers category-leading gear for the best value. From the latest in ground blind mesh technology to AI animal recognition and colorizing night photos. Like you, 
Our passion is for hunting, and a piece of that passion can be found in every product we make. Home of the highest quality products for serious hunters. Lake Cumberland in Russell County, Kentucky. Your next fishing destination is here. Visit us at lcvacation.com. Brett's taking a couple steps down the trail where that deer took off running, quartered hard to us on the shot. It looks like there might be some blood on it, but there's also maybe some gut residue where he shot all the way through the deer, probably back towards through there, but he did see some blood. There's a little blood right there. There's a little blood right there. There's blood about eight yards. Sometimes it takes open up so it's bright red blood uh, let's go up here and give him some more time that that arrow concerns me the guys weren't sure where the deer was hit since he was behind a tree from the camera so they backed out and called for reinforcements What are you doing? I'm getting up the bean sticks. Getting up bean sticks. Yeah. Well, we might be in. We might be in for a long night. Why? I shot that deer, but when I shot, he wheeled and turned, and I got a complete pass through. He's behind a tree in the video, so you can't see my impact on the arrow. You can just see his head. You can just see the head. Uh, but I saw the arrow hit him. Um, it hit him right about the shoulder or maybe a touch behind the shoulder and he wheeled towards the stand and went back down the hill. So he turned like a 360 straight almost, over the hill and went straight over the hill. I shot him at 524 so it's been about 40 minutes. You want me to bring some flashlights? Uh, tracking light? Probably. Alright. So you told me I was to wait that long anyway. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I just was wanting to at least track him to the to the creek down there in the daylight, maybe. So we've got another hour or two. Alright. I'll be that quick as I can get there. That's fine, though. Get everything on. Ready. Don't, don't rush or nothing. Be all right. Um, all right. Be there in bed. All right. Hopefully the I'm last. Still shaking. Hopefully the last photo we'll ever get of him. Alive. Well. Yeah, alive. Five twenty-three. Shoulder. It might be. I don't know. It went all the way through. Yeah. Light come on. I, yeah, the light was on. You can't see the hit in the video. It's behind the tree. Here he comes. Just when, when I shoot, just listen real intently.
Did you hear him hit the yeah, water? I heard too. They don't want me to see Look right there, boys. He is. He didn't make it up. Look right there, boys. I told you he didn't make it up. I told you he didn't make it up. I told you he didn't make it up. Yeah, damn it. I bet he skinned his velvet all the pieces on those rocks. Let's go get him. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I heard I knew he didn't make it out of that creek. Can you see me? There lies our buck right there, guys. We heard him in the creek. He tried to make it up that hill and couldn't. I told you he didn't make it out of the creek. Put that rage in the cage, baby. There's the exit. Yep. It wasn't that bad. Honestly, well, that's a pretty good shot. Oh, man, there's... <laughs> what a deer. Yeah, what a stud. Well, what a buck. My biggest one to date, and to top it off on opening day in full velvet, just doesn't get any better than that. This will definitely be a day that I never forget. Oh, man. First velvet buck. Look at that. I always skin that up a little bit, but that's all right. Yeah, he skinned it up. that split. Look at that fork, yeah, and a little kicker on the inside. Oh, what a deer, man. What a deer. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Little kicker over here. He's got one, almost two, two, three, four, five, six. You can probably get a ring on that. Seven, <laughs> eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 at least. Oh, man. Wow. What a sh... What a... Whew. I worried and fretted and worried and fretted about that shot. He's not very wide, but he's a... He's a pretty deer. Oh, yeah, he's he's a beautiful deer. Tagged out opening day here in Kentucky. Can you believe it? What a deer. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Well, we hope you enjoyed the deer hunting action on today's episode, and we got more in store for you next time out right back here on Aaron Outdoors. We want to thank you for tuning in, and again, thanks to all of our fine sponsors who helped make the show possible. Check us out online at AaronOutdoors.com as well as all of our social media outlets, and we'll see you right back here next time on Aaron Outdoors.